Perfect Wishes brings to you 5 foods to avoid with high blood pressure. Hi there, please like, comment and subscribe, it would really help the channel. Thank you. Having high blood pressure does not mean you have to cut out specific foods, but you can learn to eat food in moderation and find healthy alternatives for your favorite foods. Eating the right diet is the single most important thing you can do in controlling your blood pressure levels. Learning to read labels is a skill that you need to master if you have high blood pressure. You will be able to see quickly if a food is too high in salt, sugar, fat or energy and thereby make the right choices. When buying foods with traffic light labeling, choose as many green lights for salt and sugar as possible. Make it a general rule of thumb to buy more green and amber when it comes to salt, sugar and fats. Shopping will take a little longer, but it would be time well spent. Here are the foods to avoid with high blood pressure. 1. Salty Foods If you have high blood pressure, you should avoid foods high in sodium at all costs. Examples of foods high in sodium include bread and rolls, cured meats, canned soup, condiments and pizza. Many of the condiments we use daily are loaded with sodium. These include ketchup, salad dressings and sauces like chili sauce and barbecue sauce and soy sauce. Do not sprinkle salt on your food. If you need to add flavor to your food, try using herbs and spices or lemon juice. Cook your own food, as it puts you in control of the amount of sodium that gets added to the food. Again, pay attention to the labels and buy foods that have green labels for salt, which means low sodium content. Most of the sodium we consume are from processed foods, so it would help to limit your consumption of processed foods and eat more fruits and vegetables. These foods are often flavorful because of their high sodium content. There are low sodium alternatives to salt if you are trying to cut down on salt in your cooking and foods. These give the food the same taste of salt with much less sodium. The sodium contained in salt increases water retention, and this can raise your blood pressure. Keeping your salt intake below the maximum daily recommended allowance of 6 grams is possibly the most important step you can take in keeping your blood pressure down. For reference purposes, 6 grams is approximately 1 teaspoon of salt. One way to keep your salt intake low is to read the labels of the foods you buy, it will often tell you how much sodium there is in the food. Sugary Foods Sugar, like sodium, is often hidden in the foods we eat and really isn't good for us either. Sugar is the biggest culprit behind obesity, and people with obesity are often diagnosed with high blood pressure. Obesity and being overweight increases the chance of high blood pressure. Sugar in processed foods is deemed a main driver in hypertension as well. Added sugar such as table sugar and syrups used to prepare and process foods is thought to be more harmful than naturally occurring sugars like those in milk and fruits. How does sugar play a role in increasing your blood pressure? Eating too much sugar can inhibit the production of nitric oxide in the blood vessels. Nitric oxide normally helps with expanding of the blood vessels. Without nitric oxide, narrowing of the blood vessels which is known as vasoconstriction can occur which can lead to high blood pressure. It also apparently reduces the sensitivity of the receptors that regulate our blood pressure. It would be wise to reduce the amount of sugar you consume, as recent research shows that sugar in the diet may be more strongly related to high blood pressure than salt. 3. Alcohol Drinking alcohol increases blood pressure, and repeated drinking causes sustained high blood pressure. Alcohol should be drunk in moderation. Experts advise no more than one drink a day for women and two for men. Drinking too much alcohol can increase your blood pressure. Also, alcohol can affect your medication, reducing its efficacy. Alcoholic drinks are high in sugar and calories, hence, drinking alcohol can contribute to overweight and obesity, increasing the risk of hypertension. 4. Saturated Fats Saturated fats are a type of dietary fat which are usually hard at room temperature. To reduce your blood pressure or reduce your risk of high blood pressure, you should limit your consumption of saturated fats. Saturated fats consumption may increase the heart disease risk factors including LDL, bad cholesterol. Some foods containing saturated fats are cakes, biscuits, pies and pastries, processed meat including sausages, bacon and burgers, cooking fats, oils including palm oils, and full-fat dairy products such as cheese, milk, cream and yogurt. You can cut or reduce how much saturated fat you eat by substituting healthier food for less healthy alternatives. 
Use olive oil instead of butter and other solid fats. Replace whole fat dairy with low fat milk, yogurt, and cheese. Also, you can replace red meat with skinless chicken or fish a few days a week. 5. Caffeine Caffeine can temporarily increase blood pressure, hence, it is wise to reduce caffeine intake if you have high blood pressure. A spike in blood pressure is experienced by most people within 30 minutes to an hour of drinking caffeinated beverages. This change in blood pressure is temporary and would usually return to normal after 3 to 4 hours. Also, caffeine causes your adrenal glands to release more adrenaline, adrenaline causes your heart to beat faster and your blood vessels to narrow which in turn increases your blood pressure. Hence, coffee and caffeinated beverages should be approached with caution by people with high blood pressure. After watching this video, you may be wondering, so what can I eat? I encourage you to watch our other video, Top 10 Foods to Lower Blood Pressure. You can start eating right and controlling your blood pressure levels. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.